Most of you will be aware that I've been having issues with my S7 Edge. It's actually right here right now. Let me grab it. See, it's right here. And there's a big issue with it. If you don't know what's been going on up till now, click up here to find out. Check out the previous video. Make sure you watch that first and then come back to this. If you have seen that though, let's talk about what's been happening with this. Because it is one hell of a story. <laughs> That last video I've emailed one of the executive team from Samsung UK asking them to repair the phone and it took like two weeks to make sure they were confident in the fact that I actually owned the device and it was bought by Samsung and they had issues believing that it hadn't been opened by a third party but after some pressing they said sure okay we'll take a look at it and then it turned out the Knox warranty has been avoided. Now, if you don't know what the Knox warranty is, that's what usually happens when um, there's like motherboard damage. And the, the, the big way that would happen, that, that occurs, it's, it's a security thing. So if you root your phone, there's, I believe, there's like a thing that like overheats and it like causes it to short. And that, that shorting means that it knows that the warranty has been voided or something like it's a it's a piece of electrical genius that's extremely intricate and extremely complicated and extremely fragile now the thing is to check whether or not the Knox warranty has been voided you first need to be able to turn the device on which was intriguing to me because I haven't been able to do so since getting the device back without sort of leaving it plugged in but when it got back I thought I'd check it and um that I actually got it back a couple of days ago, plugged it in today, and it turned on, and I was like, oh, this is this is peculiar. So I unplugged it and it stayed on. So I plugged it back in, it was at about 20%. And I actually went out for the day, right? So I've just gotten back and I noticed there is a huge bulge in the side and the glass has come apart. So let me come over there and show you properly, because um this is definitely not safe. So just for reference, this is what the side of a phone should look like, right? Slick and like cool and stuff. And this is what the back looks like, right? And you can already tell there's a bit of a curve here. Because if I turn it around, look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. The battery is completely swollen up. And this happened while it was charging. I was actually out of the house while it was charging. And the big issue with a battery swelling up like this is that the reason the battery swells up is usually because it's damaged and it has a tendency of ending up in a fire. So if anything, we're actually really lucky. Now, I'm aware that scale isn't the easiest thing to portray over video. So here's an SD card, right? Um, well, it's actually an SD adapter. But look, it like full on like fits in that gap. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous and this is a huge fire risk and it's just a damaged device. This should be outright replaced Especially after the whole issue with the note 7 This device in particular is definitely not safe and though it's not a widespread issue It's an issue nonetheless and one that Samsung really need to resolve especially with the note 7 being known for exploding at this exact point in time this is not a cheap phone. It costs roughly £700, and if for nothing else, it shouldn't be falling apart and catching fire. In fact, in the process of just filming that short segment, the phone has supposedly dropped by roughly 30% in battery life. Just in the process of turning it on, and like turning on the camera, this is completely ridiculous. So hey, if you or someone you know works at Samsung, please just get in touch, because this is Frankly, just atrocious. I have made two videos on the subject for now at this point, and it's been over a month, and it still hasn't been resolved, and it's still an issue. It's only getting worse. I mean, look at the damn thing. Like, that is not safe, if nothing else. In fact, the phone has just dropped to 0% and died in, like, the 30 seconds of me explaining that. This is frankly ridiculous. Not only has trying to get this device fixed been an absolute hassle, it's a huge safety hazard at this point. So hey, I'm gonna get back into contact with the person who's been sort of working on this and hasn't been very helpful, but hopefully this is getting us some... This, this is at least a, this isn't my fault, fix the device kind of situation, because 
it is just unsafe. And with the Note 7s blowing up, and with an apparently a different S7 catching fire as well recently, this is completely unacceptable. Anyway guys, if you like the video, make sure to hit like. If you didn't, I'm not sure why you're still here, but there's a video up here, which is the last video, so check that out. And if that's not for you either, click up here to see a random video. It could be absolutely anything. I need to go get my phone sorted out, because this is just crazy. Hit subscribe to find out how this ends, because bloody hell do I know at this point. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.